voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. They Do you know what it's like to be an atheist in Pennsylvania? It's a... It's crazy. Most states that are extremely religious are down in the south, but Pennsylvania is one of the exceptions. It's a fucking nightmare to be in Pennsylvania as an atheist. Everywhere you see, everywhere you go, there's a fucking cross. But I'm going to try to suppress my fear by making a YouTube video on Lacey Green. Now, you're probably wondering why am I making a video on Lacey Green now? Why the day after Halloween? Why not do it on Halloween? It is simple, my friends. I have a life. I have things to do. I am still working on many, many things. Many fucking projects. And right now, this is my me time. This is a time of being me. Just a simple straight up video response to Lacey fucking Green. Not of Lacey Green's clones because I'm tired of them. I'm dealing with the real deal. Lacey fucking Green. It's that time of the year again! I'm so ready for spooky stuff like horror movies and cavities, but maybe not so ready for the horrors of sexism and racism. I don't believe you're ready for anything. I don't believe you're even ready for reality. Like, you live in that tiny box of yours, pretending that everything should go your way. I'm sorry, Lacey, but you're not ready for anything. No feminist is. I mean, you're a goddamn feminist, Lacey. And you'll find sexism and racism in pretty much anything. Like, holy shit, I believe that you need to be locked up in an insane asylum. Well, hey, Lacey here. Halloween is a ton of fun. And thanks to the internet, it's also become a bit of a show showcase. Like, wow, look at all the ignorant and insensitive people in America. The internet can be quite a dark place if you look at the right things. Believe me, I've seen a lot of shit on the internet. And I doubt I have even scratched the surface, Lacey. If this surprises you, then you have no fucking idea. Yay! Now, I'm always trying to be a little less shitty than I was yesterday, which I often feel at. A little less shitty than yesterday, Lacey! You're pretty much the definition of shit! But if you're trying to too, here are some things that we can do during Halloween time. Idea number one, say bye bye to slut shame. Sexy Halloween costumes actually became a thing after the sexual revolution. The whole idea behind them was that women have a right to our own sexuality and self-expression. For our generation, Mean Girls definitely solidified the concept of a slutty Halloween costume. But showing skin doesn't mean someone's any less of a human being or any less entitled to basic human decency and respect. So basically saying is that we're so goddamn stupid to treat women as sexual objects, nothing more. Like every man in the fucking world just sees another woman as nothing more as a mere fuck toy. Are you fucking kidding me, Lacey? Many, many men know how to respect women. Doesn't matter on what they're wearing. But once again, Lacey, you have demonstrated that you make humanity look extremely fucking stupid when you think that men do not treat women with respect regardless of their outfits. <laughs> If you want to talk scary, slut shaming is often the first mental step someone takes toward justifying acts of sexual violation on Halloween night. So, so once again, apparently, men will justify their actions because a woman was wearing a slutty outfit. And somehow the judge is going to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you may have raped a woman. You may have spanked her ass inappropriately. But you know what? You're good. She was asking for it, yeah. 
fucking bring in fucking logic right there. This is why I say that you are not ready for reality, Lacey. Because you reject reality. You must create this humongous, big fucking lie just to put other people into fear, into believing you. This is nothing more than a mere fear tactic. You're no better than the Christians who basically say that you're going straight to hell if you don't believe in God. So let's go ahead and leave that crap in the past. Idea number two, why settle for sexy? On the flip side of the coin, there's something weird about the fact that the female versions of costumes are always sexualized versions, even for little kids. Lacey, how exactly is it sexualized for little kids? Okay, we, we, we don't put little girls into mere bikinis. Okay, we, we don't fap to that shit. Okay, maybe a couple of pedophiles might do it, but the majority of many, many, many people do not th try to sexualize children. Okay, Lacey? And most, some women like to dress sexy, but if they don't feel very comfortable with their bodies, they can dress a little bit more conservative. They could dress as a witch, or a nun, or a firefighter. In fact, every time I go trick-or-treating, I don't see that many women who dress very sexually. Some of them dress very conservative, Lacey. Some of them are even handmade costumes. But of course to you, everything is racist. Everything is sexist. You dress too conservative, then that's sexism. You dress too suck slutty, that's sexism. <laughs> oh. There's firefighter and then sexy firefighter. There's pizza rat and then a sexy pizza rat. Well, pizza rat's always sexy, but you get the idea. If so there is um, clothing that's conservative and clothing that's more revealing, more provocative. So what exactly is your point, Lacey? If you want to get sexy, that's awesome. But it shouldn't be the only option for costumes based on your sex. Because according to you, stores, many, many stores, including Party City, will only sell sexy outfits towards grown women. In fact, also to little girls as well, because apparently, according to you, we're fucking pedophiles. Fucking amazing. Like, of course that's not the only option, Lacey. But according to you, we're trying to force women to be sexy. Fan-fucking-tastic, Lacey. And certainly not imposed on little girls. When we have a choice over how our sexuality will be presented, we draw the line between sexual subjectification and sexual objectification. As more people speak up and talk about this, companies have actually started to crank out more costume options. So keep on rabble rousing. I because apparently, back then there was like some sort of secret organization to make women, you know, be nothing more in the bras and panties during Halloween. Because the patriarchal overlord demands it. But the patriarchal overlord is losing its power during Halloween. Oh my god. <sighs> Idea number three. Maybe don't do blackface. You can still totally dress up as Crazy Eyes or Olivia Pope just without the face paint. Dressing up in blackface has a long and ugly history. It started as part of minstrel shows which used caricatures of black folks for comedy. The joke? Whoa, black people, aren't they so stupid? Many people who do blackface are explicitly calling on racial stereotypes as part of their costume. It's a type of mockery that targets people based on their skin color. Even if disrespect isn't the intent, that doesn't change the impact. Blackface effectively reduces black identity to a costume. Lacey, by your own logic, you're basically saying that crossdressers and drag queens and drag kings are basically reducing someone's gender into a mere costume. And it's not just on Halloween, but every fucking day. So... 
that logic is incredibly fucking stupid. <laughs> Hell, why, why stop at someone's gender? How about someone's job? Like, someone dresses up as a cop. Then we're basically insulting cops. You know, mocking their jobs. <laughs> by reducing them to a mere costume. You dress in a uniform for one day. They dress in a uniform for fucking life, Lacey. Modern day racial inequalities aren't something that people of color can take off at the end of the day. They're a daily reality. Idea number four, just like races aren't costumes, neither are cultures. Costumes like geisha or Indian rely on degrading racial and cultural stereotypes. That's, that's incredibly fucking stupid. There's a thing called cultural appropriation, Lacey. We don't dress up to mock these people. We dress up because culture shouldn't be just for one specific group of people. Other groups of people should join in. I mean, for fuck's sakes, you're pretty much insulting every fucking otaku that isn't in fucking Japan. Because they, these otakus, they love anime. I love anime. I'm a I'm a big fan of anime. I I watch, you know, shows like Naruto, Inuyasha, Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon. Um, uh, Digimon. Um, let's see. Um, uh, Bleach, One Piece, Soul Eater, D. Gray Man, Sergeant Frog, um, Full Metal Alchemist. <sighs> this this gotta be something else. Uh, Claymore. Uh, 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 uh um, oh, Cowboy Bebop. Of course, Dragon Ball Z. Let's not forget about that. Um, um, let's see. Sadly, Dinosaur King. Those are just some of the examples. And there are cosplayers. Lots of fucking cosplayers. Not just on anime, but Japanese video games as well. We dress up of these things because we love their culture. We respect their culture. I mean, for fuck's sakes, you feminists complain about how there's a lack of diversity for, for in certain fields, like there's not enough black people in, in, in the White House or not enough women in, 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 in CEOs. I mean, you feminists complain a lot about the lack of diversity in America. But when it comes to diversity in other countries, then you'll be like, no, 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 no. We need to stay away from them. We shouldn't push our culture into other countries. But other cultures should push into ours. I mean, for fuck's sakes. Just imagine if, like, the majority of the people who are trying to run for president are, are, are just cisgender white men. And then some random Asians, like... Oh, vote for me for president. You're going to vote for that random Asian. Like, it'll, it'll probably go something like this. Are you sick and tired of having almost every president to be cisgender white men? Don't you wish that for once we can call someone that isn't a white man in the sake of diversity? Well, vote for me. Because he's Asian. Also, Payne's wife is harder than Lacey Green, so yeah, just vote for him. It also further normalizes white America's tendency to disrespect and mock cultures that are different from our own. So let me get this straight, Lacey. People like yourself complain about how there's a lack of diversity in certain fields. How we're not more culturally accepting. But the moment that people start dressing up as geishas or Indians... Somehow we're mocking their culture and pushing our white agenda culture towards other cultures. But other cultures could push their agenda towards to us because in the name of diversity. Yeah, 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 that's totally making sense right there. The implication is that white culture is normal and superior. Now, America's lack of cultural competency is nothing to brag about, least of all with a tacky costume. There are a million costume possibilities, and I think we'd all do better at tapping into our creativity instead of recycled toxic garbage. So basically, we're not allowed to dress up as anything outside of our own fucking culture. 
Fuck you, Lacey Green.